They're whipping up delicious dishes. It must be the Chef Adventures. Chef Adventures. Hey, foodie friends. I'm Charlene, the hot chef. Easter is here, and today I'm gonna teach you an incredible Italian Easter bread recipe. Let's get started. First step for our Italian Easter bread is to bloom the yeast. In a greased bowl, add one cup of lukewarm whole milk, one teaspoon of granulated sugar, and one 0.25 ounce packet of self-rising yeast. Gently bring it together. Allow your yeast to bloom for about eight minutes you'll see it getting all bubbly and happy, and that's when you know it's ready. Eight minutes have gone by, and our yeast is now all fizzy and bubbly and ready for the dough mixture. The next step for our Italian Easter bread is to create the dough. And we're gonna start off with the dough hook on your stand-up mixer, and we're gonna add our dry ingredients. Here we have four and a half cups of all-purpose flour. Next we have half a cup of granulated sugar. Two teaspoons of kosher salt. Oh, now we're gonna turn on our mixer and get these dry ingredients mixed up a, a little bit before we add our wet ingredients. Okay, so I do believe that the dry ingredients are thoroughly mixed. They've been spinning around for about three minutes. Next, it's time to add our wet ingredients, and we're gonna start with the milk and yeast mixture. Next, we're gonna add our eggs. And we're gonna let our dough mix nicely here for about five minutes. Now that our soft dough has formed, here I have one stick of butter and it's softened and I've cut it into tablespoons uh, pieces and we're gonna throw it in there a little bit at a time. Okay, foodie friends, our Italian Easter bread dough is looking real good. As you can see, it's came off the sides nice and neat. The next step for us is to transfer this Easter bread dough into a greased bowl. Very nice. Gently cover it, and we're gonna put it in a warm spot to let it proof up until it reaches double its size, and then we're ready. Our Easter bread dough has doubled in size. It proofed along very nicely. It took about an hour to get to this size. And while we were waiting, my little Chef Adventures helpers dyed our pretty little Easter eggs we have over here, and they were extra super careful because these are raw. The reason why the colored eggs are raw is because they're going to finish and cook along with your Easter bread in the oven and they're going to be a wonderful treat. All right, so the next step is to turn our Easter bread dough into the beautiful wreath shapes that are so traditional amongst the style of bread. For this process, you're going to need a parchment lined sheet pan, a dough cutter, some extra flour for your board, and we're gonna set our eggs aside, and we're gonna get started. You flour the board, and then you add your Easter bread dough to it. For this, I'm choosing to make one large wreath and two smaller wreaths. So I have one whole half for the large wreath, and then two smaller pieces. I'm cutting these quarters into thirds. 
which we will roll out into three equal length strips. Lay your three strips for your braid next to each other and pinch the ends. Then you can begin to braid. Put the wreath together, pinch the ends again, and place in your pretty little egg. Scoop up your wreath with the dough cutter and place on your sheet pan. My two smaller braids are complete and with this larger rest of the half of the dough, I'm gonna create a large one. Want to make sure your eggs are nice and snug and they have a nice little bed to lay on to lay in so they don't move around. The next step is we're leaving them to proof for another half an hour. Our traditional egg breads have gone through their second proofing. They got a little bit bigger than I expected this time, so I'm gonna transfer one over onto a separate parchment lined sheet pan. Last step before the oven is a nice egg wash and some decorating. Now add your sprinkles. We're ready for the oven, 375 degrees for 30 minutes. Look at these beautiful Easter breads, you guys. They're out of the oven. They're so beautiful. They're so golden, festive. What a great way to brighten your Easter table spread. So colorful and pretty and delicious. I wanna thank you all for watching. I wanna thank you for subscribing. If you're not already subscribed, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. The full recipe for our traditional Easter breads are going to be in the description box below. Any questions or comments, reach out to us. We'll get back to you. Happy Easter, everybody.